Hi everyone, welcome to Relaxation in Pieces. My name is Geraldine and this is another edition of Inside the Box. For September, I decided to do the 144 piece vintage Washington State postcard wooden puzzle from Green Tree Jewelry. This is the image. So I think the obvious question is, why would somebody who normally does higher piece count puzzles pick a 144 piece puzzle to do for a video? Well, the answer is simple. It's easy. <laughs> and I really needed something easy. So at the beginning of August, for two weeks, I was sick. Totally threw off my whole schedule. It is also why I didn't film an inside the box for the Coney Island puzzle I did. Um, yeah, and I would normally videotape for the September puzzle at that time. I'm usually a month off. So my options were skip September or do an easy puzzle. And I didn't want to skip another video. So I went ahead and just did an easy puzzle. This one was in my stash. So it perfect. It was perfect. It got the job done. Um, why was the 144 piece puzzle in my stash? Well, because... My husband, as he normally does, bought this for me as a gift along with the Ohio Vintage Postcard Puzzle that I did in a video about a year or so ago. I'll link to that in the description if you're interested. But he got, got it for me as a gift and he picked Washington because it's one of our favorite places in the whole world. Um, if you've never been, I would highly recommend it. One of our favorite places in the state is the Olympic Peninsula and the National Park up there. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's like breathtakingly beautiful. Check out the tide pools, the rainforests, like the completely clear, I've never seen so clear water in these lakes. Like It's amazing. We also love the Puget Sound area and of course Seattle. And I'm wearing my Space Needle t-shirt in honor of this video um, and Washington State. So yeah, we just love it. But this isn't a travel video. This is a puzzle video. So let's get back to the puzzle. Um, when you get the box, you're going to find that it comes taped with paper tape and you're going to have to cut it. And then when you open it, there's going to be a burlap sack full of the 144 wooden pieces. Uh, there's also a little piece of paper in there that is kind of the why and how for Green Tree jewelry in this puzzle and the state puzzles that they make in general. Um, you will not, however, find a poster which you don't really need for two reasons. Number one, it's 144 pieces. It's just not that hard. And number two, um, the image on the front of the box here is big enough and totally clear and you don't need the, a poster, you got something. It makes an excellent guide. So, uh, so yeah, that's what you're gonna find in the box. Now, about the pieces themselves. So here's an example of a piece. As you can see, wood and image, and it's printed on quarter inch birch plywood, so it is very sturdy. Oh, and also, it's oversized. So, if you need an oversized piece, puzzle for handling or vision or whatever, this is actually a really good one. Um, it's nice because it has a low piece count. It has oversized puzzle pieces, and it's an adult image. And I know that in my retail experience, I would often be asked about extra large piece puzzles and looking for adult images because they're not easy to find. You have to kind of hunt them down. And if you're an adult and you need oversized pieces or lower piece counts, you want to do a puzzle with an adult image. You don't want to have to like go into the kitty realm and like do stuff that's geared towards children. You want to feel like an adult when you do the puzzles. So these puzzles are a nice option for people who want that and need that. And I think that's great. Also, the pieces are laser cut. You can tell because of that, that dark line on the puzzle piece, it's laser cut. So um, if you are unfamiliar with doing a wooden puzzle that's been laser cut, uh, you should be warned that it is different than doing a cardboard puzzle. Cardboard puzzles are stamp cut, so you don't lose anything. But on a laser cut puzzle, it is actually 
cutting through the wood and so you lose a very small amount of the wood when they cut it which creates a little little bit of a gap between the pieces they can just move around and separate it so when you put the pieces together it requires more dexterity you know from the image that it's the right piece but putting it actually in you might have to kind of wiggle the pieces and move them around a little bit which you do not have to do on a cardboard puzzle i'm going to show you an example of that all right so here we've got the puzzle partially finished and you can see what i mean about the gapping it moves but it's, it's not a lot but there is a little bit of movement which is unusual i mean it's different than a cardboard puzzle so when you go to put the piece together and you put it in like if you don't slide it you can tell that it fits but it doesn't go in you have to slide it together and then it fits in and that's just a little bit more dexterity so i want to note because of the dexterity required even though it's a 144 piece puzzle i would not recommend this for kids um i think that it would just be frustrating for a kid um and you don't want frustration when you do puzzles you want puzzles to be fun especially for kids when you're trying to bring them into the puzzle fold <laughs> and uh get them interested you want to make it you want to make it fun you want to make it interesting you want to make it an experience that they'll enjoy so that they'll keep coming back for more and i really think that the, the dexterity that's required for this it's just kind of it's just too hard for a kid um and yeah that's that's what I have to say about that. Um, as far as my star ratings go, I would give it a five out of five for quality. Um, I have nothing bad to say about this puzzle. I, I just don't have anything negative about it, the quality of it at all. I mean, it's wood, but there's no burrs or splinters or anything like that the pieces go together smoothly um yeah they're very smooth pieces actually and yeah nothing a five out of five for quality good job guys and then uh for difficulty i'm gonna do a one out of five because this is an easy puzzle i mean it's only 144 pieces as i mentioned many times but even for 144 pieces it's easy the image just makes it that way and speaking of the image i'm gonna give it a four and a half out of five so really debated on this star image because, okay, when they screen print the image onto the birch plywood, you can see a little bit of the wood through it. It isn't like printing on a white piece of paper. So to me, it gives it more of that vintage old look to it. And that just matches the vibe of the puzzle. It's a, it's a vintage postcard. So the vintage look I feel like matches but it doesn't really match the picture on the box, which is very vibrant and rich. It's printed on white paper. And so there's just a difference. And I think maybe some people would be bothered by that. Again, I like the image. I like the fact that it's got kind of that vintage vibe to it because it's birch plywood. You don't get a lot of grain through it. Um, so you don't really see the wood. It just creates kind of that, that vintage look. Um, and then overall, I'm going to give this puzzle a 4 out of 5. So I'm docking one star because it is so easy. I mean, like, I like a little challenge when I do a puzzle and 1 out of 5, which might even be, like, generous. And I should give it, like, a half a star out of 5 for difficulty. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to take actually one star off just because it is really almost too easy for me. Um, and isn't as much of a challenge as I would like. All that being said, I would recommend this puzzle. I mean, four out of five is not bad. So I'd recommend this puzzle, especially if you like wooden puzzles or you want larger pieces or you want a quick and easy puzzle to do during a show at your coffee table. It's not going to take up a lot of room and you're going to get it done during a show. Um, or maybe you live in Washington or love Washington like I do and the images of interest. I would recommend it for all those reasons. Now, that being said, if you don't like wooden puzzles or you want more of a challenge, don't buy this puzzle um, because you won't enjoy it. And I think that's pretty obvious. But if you do want to buy this puzzle, you can find it at 
Uncommon Goods. I'm pretty sure they're like the exclusive distributor of these puzzles. Um, and I will link to the Uncommon Goods website in the description below if you're interested. It's not an affiliate link. It's just where you can find it. Um, and they do sell all 50 puzzles, 50 states. Okay, they do sell puzzles of all 50 states. And uh, the last I checked, the Washington one was in stock. Not all the states were in stock, but they come and, come and go. Um, but Washington was there. So yeah, check it out at Uncommon Goods. And I think that's all I have to say today, guys. Um, yeah, this is a companion video to my Relax with the Puzzle video of the same image. And I will link to that in the description if you are interested. Basically, what that is, is I put a piece in at a time, I set it to music, and it's a great way to just kind of relax, zone out, put it on in the background, do what you want. But this one is actually really short, so it's kind of a nice little intro if you've never checked it out before. It's only five and a half minutes long. Um, and you can just see what it's all about, start to finish. And it's only gonna be, you know, five and a half minutes. No problem, so check it out and if this video you know struck your fancy you liked it then give me a like a thumbs up and if you like this content if you like the relax with the puzzle content please subscribe i would be forever grateful and thank you to everybody who's already subscribed and i also want to say this time turn your notification bells on um i have a surprise coming up that i'm very excited about in october and it's gonna, the timing's a little different. So you're gonna want those notification bells. And that's the only little hint I'm gonna give you. <laughs> but I am excited about it. Uh, hopefully I can get it done, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, so that's it guys. As always, relax and enjoy the build and I'll see you later, bye.